Construction on Irving's new animal care campus is nearing completion. It's going to be awesome. I'm extremely excited. But the new shelter is not the only success Irving Animal Services is celebrating. Some of these things are happening so fast. There is a long list of accomplishments over the last year. Let's look at a few, starting with the vehicles. All have been upgraded with new reporting software. The time it saves on a daily basis is literally hours a day. It adds up to a projected 2,330 hours saved each year because reports are completed and pictures added in the field. Those pictures are instantly uploaded to the Animal Shelter's new website and PetTango.com. There will be times when I pick up an animal, it's on my truck still, and the owners are already trying to find them because they're online immediately. The trucks also have new safety features, including backup cameras and emergency lighting. Make you feel somewhat safer in 70 mile an hour traffic while you're stopped in the middle of it. <laughs> By the shoulder blades, okay honey. Animal Services microchips thousands of animals each year. That tiny chip containing identification can help reunite a lost pet with its owner, possibly saving its life. People ask me what's the number one reason animals get euthanized at a shelter, and you often hear where they say space, but the reality is animals get euthanized because they have no identification on them. The microchipping program is just one factor contributing to the shelter's impressive live release rate. These dogs may look sad now, but almost all of the adoptable animals who arrive here are reunited with their owners, adopted, or transferred to a rescue group. Of our adoptable animals, our live release rate is awesome for municipal. It's 77 percent. Animal Services also gave more than 5,700 vaccinations, and more than 200 animals were spayed or neutered in the last fiscal year. To better respond to sick or injured animals, officers and the staff veterinarian are on call 24-7. It just gives them a little bit of a comfort of knowing that at 3 o'clock in the morning, what do I do? You know, I'm, I'm up there for them. And you just want to enter the animal ID number. Employees are taking advantage of new cross-training opportunities so workers can pitch in wherever they are needed. I also help out in the veterinary side because if I can vaccinate it right there on intake, I'll do it. Everyone will be certified as an animal control officer in the state of Texas. Volunteers and staff launched the Seniors for Seniors Free Pet Adoption Program. It matches seniors with older animals that might otherwise have a tough time finding a good home. Senior dogs are harder to place because, you know, people want younger dogs. So um, this is a perfect program because the senior dogs are a little quieter. Um, they're, they're not quite as active, so they, they're perfect for a senior citizen person. She just fell in love with me and I fell in love with her. The thank you notes stuck on the shelter's bulletin board tell the story of reunited families and happy new additions. More than 17,000 people visited the animal shelter over the last fiscal year, and surveys show 97% of customers left satisfied. Employees know they are providing better care for the animals, better care for the citizens. And they believe the new animal care campus featuring a dog park and adoption mall concept will draw more people in to see the pets available and take advantage of all of the services provided. It'll change our whole curb appeal and how our customers feel about us. You know, it won't look like the traditional municipal government animal shelter. It's awesome looking facility. We will have state of the art equipment. Um, we're working on getting a digital x-ray and we're really excited about that. It's going to be in a great area. Um, hopefully, you know, we'll be more visible to the community. Um, so it's going to be great. I think we're going to be able to do a lot more good over there. We hope to see everybody there.